Hi gamers, it's me. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite ways to obtain provisioner tokens through trades with NPCs. Before I get started, I will acknowledge that there are additional provisioner tokens that can be obtained weekly through specific game modes, including up to 26 per week from raids, up to 15 per week from PvP, and up to 25 from World vs World. What I will be showcasing for you today is a couple of provisioner tokens that can be obtained daily through central tier NPCs, and the majority daily from Heart of Thorns NPCs, which of course you will require to have the Heart of Thorns expansion in order to be able to access these. The first NPC in Central Tyria is in Beloved Lion's Arch towards the north of the map, and here I trade a Mystic Stone because I have no use for them due to having the infinite salvage kits from the gem store. Great investment, by the way. The second faction provisioner token NPC interior is in Black Citadel, which is the Char Race starting city. And here I trade a single obsidian shard for a single provisioner token. Now, if you are a newer player, you might be scared to trade away an obsidian shard because obsidian shards have a purple border, which implies that they are a legendary tier crafting material. However, Despite them being present in the wizard's vault, available for purchase for astral acclaim, please do not buy them there. You do not need to. It is a waste. That is bad value. That is a noob trap. Don't. Do never, never, never buy them with astral acclaim. It's a waste. If you need obsidian shards, please make your way to the Straits of Devastation. I am showing you relative to Lion's Art where it is interior right now on the screen. Go to the Temple of Grenth via the Glorious Victory Waypoint. Cross your fingers and hope that the waypoint is not contested. Turn around and talk to this Karma NPC. This is a new account. I have over 4 million karma and you can buy obsidian shards with karma. I don't have, I, I, I cannot stress this to you enough, like please, please do not use astral acclaim on obsidian shards. I promise you, you will regret it. As I said, the majority of the daily provisioner tokens are going to come from various NPCs in Heart of Thorns. These NPCs can be given various different crate weapons or gladiator armor pieces in exchange for a provisioner token. On the screen, I have listed all of the different weapons that I personally used when I was trying to farm provisioner tokens for legendary crafting. Pause the screen for an easier shopping experience if you prefer to buy these off the trading post instead of crafting them. To start off, I am going to be showing you the vendor location in Verdant Brink. Each of the Heart of Thorns vendors will have an option on their first tab to trade a different type of item that cannot be purchased. In Verdant Brink, this is the reclaimed metal plates. Reclaimed metal plates are obtained from doing events or the meta within the Verdant Brink map or from salvaging reclaimed metal weapons. I only recommend that you trade for this particular provision token if you have a surplus of reclaimed metal plates, are active on the Verdant Brink map quite often, or have absolutely no intention of going for legendary envoy armor as the legendary envoy armor pieces require five per piece that you craft, which totals to 30 per set or 90 in total if you want to go for all three weight classes, light, medium, and heavy. The next location that we're going to is Auric Basin and the faction provisioner token NPC is located at the Wanderer's Waypoint in the northeast of the map. I've just played this back again and realized again I said northeast when it's northwest. Like I don't, I, what is wrong with me? Please. Again, there is an additional option to trade a provisioner token for a singular auric 
ingots. Auric ingots can be crafted and thus are more freely available. So if you do have the means of crafting them, go ahead and get your additional provisioner token. But again, they are required for the envoy armors at the same quantity. The third and final faction provisioner token NPC is at the Ogre Camp in Tangled Depths. Here you can get up to four or five per day if you choose to trade for the Chuck Egg. A single Chuck Egg is guaranteed when you participate in a successful Chuck Geraint Tangled Depths meta event. However, they are sometimes difficult to come by in multiples, so I typically try to avoid trading for these until I know that I no longer need them for the Envoy armor. You may have noticed when talking to the NPCs, they have multiple tabs and there are multiple different items that you can choose to trade with them. I have chosen the items which were cheapest as of a couple of months ago when I was farming provisioner tokens on my alt accounts. I have listed the wiki link below for the faction provisioner page where you can see a detailed breakdown of what can be traded for each vendor and what price they currently are available for either selling or buying on the trading post. Most of these items are craftable so if you have your crafting professions leveled feel free to craft them yourself rather than spending money. With the most recent patch, Secrets of the Obscure, a new trade option for provisioner tokens has been added. The NPC in the Wizard's Tower can trade with you without any cap or limitations per day or per week. You are only limited by currency with spools of thick Elonian cord, lumps of mithrilium, blobs of elder spirit residue, and charged quartz crystals. All four of these items are daily craftables, meaning only one can be crafted per account per day. As you can see, I can go as high as I can with the amount of currency in each of these items that I have. However, I went onto my main account to demonstrate this and and I think I'm okay for provisioner tokens for a while. Most of mine were obtained from challenge mode raids, which I stream on Twitch every Monday at 7 p.m. UK time. If you wanna come and hang out and watch me feed. Um, but yeah, that is kind of it. I hope this helped and thank you for watching. Girls, I know.